up and welcome back to my channel. This is a little bit of a bonus video that's going to be going up this week because I, I am so excited. I really like when my friends do new things. I like when people that I love or just really enjoy their content kind of go outside of the box a little bit and take on new endeavors. So today I'm actually going to be talking about the Pages and Panels book club. This is started by Natalie here on booktube, Pages and Panels obviously. I will list her channel down below as well as the Goodreads group. Every, every little bit of information you need is going to be in the down bar of this video. But I am so excited. We actually recently read a comic that I was so, so excited to read. It is a book that I had never seen before, but when I read kind of what it was about and got a little bit more information about it, I was so, so excited. And that would actually be Space Boy. And yes, as you guys can tell, I have two copies. My other one is right here. I actually got a really defunct copy from Amazon, which is this one. So I did end up ordering another one, but I have loved, I have read and loved this comic and it is so I think everybody needs to read it. It follows a young girl whose family actually lives in deep space on a mining colony. Her father actually works there as a miner, but an accident happens and they are sent back to Earth. Now the thing about going back to Earth is since they live in deep space, they have to travel 30 years. So they are frozen when they are sent back. So when they wake up, everyone has not aged, but everyone that they know and love has. And the world has changed and everything has changed. And this story touched me in ways that I didn't really think that it was going to touch me. But the really interesting thing about this book is our main character, Amy, actually senses flavors for people like her mom and her dad. They all have different flavors. People that she meets all have different flavors. And I thought that was really cool. And then Natalie actually decided to do video prompts for each book that she is reading for the book club. And like I said, I've already read the book, so I wanted to sit down and do this with you guys. So essentially all I did was I took five pieces of paper and wrote down five different characters that I really, really love. And I'm going to randomly draw and then try to come up with a flavor for each of those characters. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that's really, really awesome. I think that is super cool that she actually did this. And I'm really excited to continue on with the Pages and Panels book club because it's all about comic books and possibly manga. And that is something that I don't know a whole lot about that I really am excited to kind of get into. So if you guys are interested, like I said, I'll leave all of the information down below for you guys. But I'm going to get started talking about all of the characters that I have today. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly draw. I just have them on my lap because I don't actually have a cup to draw from. The first character I have here is Alosa. I may or may not have actually spelled her name right, but she is the main character from A Daughter of the Pirate King or A Daughter of the Siren Queen. I love that series, you guys know, it's like a guilty pleasure book of mine. But when I think of Alosa, the flavor that I really think of would be cinnamon. I think that she's super spicy. And you guys, you guys have to read the series, but she's, so sarcastic, so sassy, so strong, but she also has a hint of sweet. There's a little bit of a love story, well, quite a bit of a love story that runs through the series, and I just really think of Cinnamon when I think of her. All right, number two, who do we have? Ah, oh, yeah! Ron Weasley, my original book boyfriend. I absolutely adore Ron. He has been and will always be one of my very, very top favorite book boyfriends. He's the first book boyfriend I ever had. I absolutely love him. When I think of him, I always think of vanilla. And I know that there's not a whole lot of scent stuff that's talked about in Harry Potter, like when it comes to the characters, like there isn't a lot of YA now. Um, but I always think of Vanilla because I think that he's timeless and classic and something that I'm always 100% going to love. And Vanilla is my most favorite scent of all time. So I always associate Vanilla with Ron. All right, number three. Oh no, my husband. If you guys are not aware, I am 100% K.L. trash, but I'm also 1000% Rowan trash. I live for him. I know people think that he's like kind of problematic, but I don't care. I love Rowan. And when I think of Rowan, I cannot help but think of mint. I think of really clean, fresh, like sometimes pine because I know like he's talked about like him smelling like pine or whatever, but I always think of mint for some reason, like really crisp and clean and fresh because obviously mint is an herb. I always, always, always think of mint for him. All right, the next one we have here. Oh no, it's like all my book boyfriends. We have the Darkling. If you guys haven't been around that long, you won't know, but I love the Darkling. He is, I love me some problematic AF fucked up characters. And the Darkling is definitely that character for me. And when I think of the Darkling, I always, always, always think of Pepper. I don't know why it's like you need pepper and you put it in everything and it really adds like flavor and taste. But if you eat pepper on its own, it's bitter and nasty. And I always, associate the Darkling with Pepper for some reason. I don't know why, but like even as I was reading the books, I was thinking Pepper like bitter, but also something that you really wanted. Like he's definitely peppery because he's spicy. He is a spicy boy. 
All right, and the last, it's like literally all my book boyfriends. I'm so sorry. The last one I have here is Holland. When I think of Holland, I always think of dark chocolate. If you guys haven't read this series, this might not make a whole lot of sense, but I don't, I, it's kind of hard to kind of go over why I always think dark chocolate with him without giving away too much of the series, but he's definitely very dark, very bitter, um, very, very bitter, but also sweet in a way, like not super dark chocolate, but just like, you know, like 80% dark chocolate. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. That's what I always think of when I think of Holland. Also, I fucking love dark chocolate, so this makes 100% total sense. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will leave all of the information down below. I am so excited for Natalie for doing this, and I'm really enjoying the club as well. And I hope you guys will follow along, maybe join the group, do the videos. I'm just really excited to support my friends, and I think in such a small community as BookTube is, I think it is really important to support our friends when they do things like this. And you know, it's it's sometimes it's really nerve-wracking to go out there and try to do something new and not know if people are gonna join in or not. So I'm really excited to be supporting her and I'm 100% enjoying myself. So if you guys are interested, everything will be listed down below. But I hope you guys are having a good week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!